Welcome now to the show, Peter Peter Bone, Conservative MP. Peter, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Peter. Have you seen? I guess you've seen this photo of the uh, of the, the glasses being raised in Number Ten. I've seen the photograph on Twitter, but it's got all sorts of things blacked out and things, doesn't it? Really? You can't yeah. see you can't see people's faces, can you? They're kind of no, seem to be pixelated. Well. But you can see the Prime Minister very clearly. Oh yes, yes, and you can see the table. You can see you can see a load of wine bottles, lots of them half half drunk. You can see a toast being proposed, glasses being raised in return. It all looks like fantastically good fun. It looks like a good party. Party, Peter. Um, and no, I don't think it looks like that at all. You don't, think, yeah. you really. What no, we, I think it looks like wine on the table, so. food on the table, people raising a glass. <laughs> what does a party look like at your house? Most people would say that is a party, and the prime minister said there was no such thing, Peter. Well, also, I think you would agree that the Met Police have said there's no such thing, and uh, the, and the police had seen these photographs as well. So I'm happy to accept the, the police's verdict on it, but we still got to wait for yeah. the Sucre report. Well, I, guess the, I guess the thing is about that particular party is that people who were there have been fined, which means, I guess by definition, that it was judged to be an unlawful gathering. It was judged to be a lockdown-breaking breach breaking, breaking party. Uh, the Prime Minister, the, you're absolutely right, has not been fined. And you'll, you'll accept, Peter, as a fair-minded man, that that's going to raise questions in the minds of a lot of people, has already. No, I think the police carried out a, a very thorough investigation. Some people say half a million pounds investigation might have been a bit of a waste of police money, but they did it, and it was fine, and he was not found. to have it. So uh, a picture, uh, somewhat pixelated, as you rightly say, um, doesn't prove anything. I, the, the investigation was carried out by the police. He was found that he had broken any of the the rules mm. uh, so therefore i'm very happy to say you we really can't demand a police inquiry yeah have the inquiry and then said the police have got it wrong i mean you know i i, I well let's wait let's see what the sue gray report yes. says of course but i don't think for one minute uh, the prime minister could, what that picture indicates i have no idea but the police certainly didn't think he was partying so yes. uh there we go. Well, the last the last opinion poll I saw, and it's all we've got to go on when we're asking what people are thinking out there in the in the country. They told me that two thirds of people think the prime minister should resign over 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 parties, and that was more than half of conservative voters. Now, whatever you say about the you know the legal status of the police determination, you're a politician. It's a problem, isn't it? That's not what I find on the doorstep, and I've I've said this regularly that when we go out and knock on the door, in fact, actually, I mean, I suppose you could look at the local government results, which were, I mean, Labour only managed to gain what net twenty two seats in England at a time midterm when the government should be taking a a whacking. So um, it's not clearly an issue out in the streets like um, perhaps some people want it to be. It clearly doesn't change voters' minds. Yeah. I mean, look, only you can testify to what you're finding with your voters in your mm. constituency. But I mean, I'm, I'm quoting, you know, reputable polling organisations who send a consistent message on on this. But let's, let's move on. I mean, you've made your position clear on all <laughs> of that. Now, what about the position of, of Sue Gray? I mean, you're assuming over, the, week, over the, week, the weekend, there was a meeting we learned over the weekend between the Prime Minister and Sue Gray, natural... You know, natural speculation. What was that about? You know, she's bringing out a very sensitive report. And then down the street, she said she asked for the meeting. And, and Sue Gray said, no, no, I didn't. And now we know, no, no, she didn't. That was simply wrong from Downing Street. And the idea that it was a toxic briefing from, from Sue Gray, that was completely, completely false. Do you find that disturbing, Peter? I, I don't know a lot about this, but I think, was this a meeting in April? It was, it was some, some months ago for sure, yeah. Yeah, and we've already had an interim Sue Gray report. Um, I, I know that's come out. And to be honest, do I care Tums, uh, wh which, what, who's been briefing, briefing you people in the media about this and that? Mm. I just want to see the full report. I yeah. really, really can't get worked up for who invited who to a meeting back in April. I mean, we are really clutching at straws. Is that's, uh, is that's the thing? I mean, you know, the the Prime Minister's communications teams ought to communicate properly. Yeah. But that, that's, I mean, you know. I'll talk about the Westminster story. Yeah. That is t that's a media story. But they also tell the truth, surely. I mean, people around around number 10, allies of the Prime Minister, so-called, they surely need to tell the truth when they're talking about a senior civil servant who's engaged on a very sensitive mission. Well, they, the, the, the people around the Prime Minister should always tell the truth. And uh, But I, look, I, I know nothing of what was reached in the media or what wasn't. What yeah. is it? 
absolutely important. It's, the question I thought you might pose to me is when on earth are we going to get this Sue Gray report? Yeah. I mean, let's get on and debate it and look at it and decide because mm. the Prime Minister has been found not guilty by the police. Yeah. Let's see what the Sue Gray report says. Yeah. I, surely, why have we got any more? To, let's have it. I mean, let's have it tomorrow. Yeah, but maybe we will. I mean, the, the word is it could come tomorrow. And I, I'll tell you, I think you're, you're speaking for a lot of people. <laughs> you say you can't wait to see see this report. It's been a long time in gestation uh, by, mm. by everything that we hear. And when we finally see this report, this all-important report, uh, a piece, and if it does seriously criticise the Prime Minister, what would you say then? Would you be every bit as indefatigable in his support as you are right now? I've always said, let's see what the Sue Great report says. I believe that the Prime Minister has done nothing wrong and I don't think he attended parties. Right. And I, and I, the Met Police have come to that conclusion, but let's see what Sue Gray comes to. Yeah. The whole point of democracy, let's see what it is, let's debate it. The Prime Minister will come rushing to the House of Commons as soon as he's got the report and we'll be able to question him. Right, look, more than just last one on this. We haven't seen the report, but we know, we know one or two things. We know there have been what is it, over 120 fines levied against over 80 people in the civil service and around number 10 Downing Street. Now, that was wrong. Who should answer for that? Well, that's, that's one of the things that the Sue Gray report will hopefully help us. I mean, I know that Dominic Cummings, for a large period of this time, was running the thing in Downing Street. So whether he'll come in for criticism, but I'm look. I've refused to speculate before, so I'm not going to speculate now. I can wait 24 hours okay. and have my say in the comments. Well, let's talk again. Peter Bone, good of you to come Thank on. You. As, as always, Peter Bone, the Conservative MP.